Hello everyone, my name is Linus Carlsen Ritzén. Uh, I'm a technical implementation manager here at Struesoft. And with me today, I have my colleague, Akos. Uh, hello everybody. My name is uh, Akos Shepard from uh, Hungary. I'm a business development manager and I will help uh, Linus today. That's very good. And uh, yeah, as Akos uh, said, he's sitting in Hungary and I'm sitting in, in Malmö, Sweden. So we are on two different, uh, in two different countries. And that what we're going to show you today is the new integration uh, between Impact and uh, BIM 360 and uh, Autodesk Collaboration Cloud. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, I will share my screen. Uh, so uh, I will close my webcam so that everyone sees my screen a little bit better. like this so we will start at the the construction cloud of autodesk where we're going going to create the the project uh the bin 360 project so uh, we're going to have two different projects one impact and one bin 360 with which we're going to tie together and um, just to to make it clear here uh, this webinar or this video is not yeah, showing all the, the nice details of this uh, Autodesk construction cloud, but more we're going to just create this basic project here uh, so that we can continue and show you the impact part of, of this. So I will just add a new project and I will call it uh, Impact BIM 360. And I will put it as a hotel. And the rest of these are not important for impact, so I will skip it. So we will just wait a couple of seconds and the project will be, be created here. So the first thing I need to do is to, to start up um, a few services that, uh, that we can have for each project. And the, the, the ones that we need is this document uh, management. I will start it without the template today. Um, and as well, this design collaboration. So I will um, start that one as well. And in the meantime, when these two are activating, it will take a minute or so, I will add uh, Arcos to this project so that he can access it as well. So I will just click add here and uh, write his name and we will have him here. Um, yeah, here I can select uh, what role he will have. Maybe can be the BIM manager, and he will get the the, the rights accordingly. And uh, I will just add him to the project. So now we see that we are two different people here, and I can actually just put myself as the BIM manager uh, also. Great. So let's see if the services are activated and uh, not yet but just in a couple of seconds okay so now we have the services so uh, yeah we don't really need to do anything more here at this uh, this site now because everything is prepared for for impact so basically what i'm going to do is to create a new project uh, in impact so um, I will call it like impact uh, beam. Let's call it that. So just create the project as normal. And uh, when this is loading uh, or loaded, uh, I will just go to my project files here, Revit, and create a Revit uh, pro uh, file and tie it together with the project. So let's call it the same impact. BIM 360. I'll keep Revit opened after uh, my uh, yeah after this is this procedure is done. So until now we haven't done anything uh, yeah different as if you would uh, start a Revit model with your normal uh, project in in Impact. Uh, and this will take just a couple of seconds. Okay, great. So now the project is 
uh, it started and if I just go here to the 3D view uh, you'll see that my impact commands are activated so uh, the next step is the actual you know tying these two projects together and start um, work with the um, yeah the construction cloud and the beam 360 as at the same time with uh, you do the impact project so we'll go here to the collaboration tab and click collaboration and then we need to save the model uh, before we continue and uh, here we see the difference or actually what's the new thing here in uh, in impact so the new integration is with this beam 360 document management so it's basically the cloud uh, of autodesk uh, until now we have had the the possibility to do the collaboration within your network but we are uh, with this q2 release we're adding this beam 360 document management as well so that's one what this video is going to be about so select this one and uh, i will now need to find my project that i just created so it was this uh, impact beam 360 i will just place the the my central file in this project files folder I will do the initiation now and um, it will take a minute or so um, because now we are or not we but Revit are uploading the, the central file to to the to the cloud as well as uh, yeah starting the work sharing um, settings and all of that so we just need to wait a little bit Okay, so now everything is uploaded and uh, to finish up this um, this uh, yeah setup with the, the work sharing, I just need to close the model and open it again uh, to just end this uh, procedure. Uh, so now we are just uh, opening the, the local file basically for the first time. So I will soon uh, invite um, Akash and share his screen as well um, in this project. But before that, I will just do some preparation. Uh, so first of all, I will create two new work sets. Uh, I will call one. I will create one for each person here. Uh, of course, you will do some more. Uh, you know, uh, yes, I will need to do that. Uh, you will do some more uh, specific. Uh, uh, set up of these work sets whenever you are um, we can actually do this later on uh, yeah when you do it yourself but now for this video we just do a simple uh, work set for each person uh, I will create some grid lines that we can use uh, for our testing or uh, model in this video so like this something I don't really care about size because it's not important I will also link these ones too to so impact and uh, I will do the synchronization so that AUKUS will have all this uh, new things available when he open the model and I will just do one more thing. Maybe I need to synchronize again. Uh, it's better to do it one more time than one less time. Perfect. So, Ockles, are you ready to join? I will share your screen as well. So, that, <laughs> and I will also share my webcam now. So, here we are again. Yeah. Um, so, what you can see now is uh, is the screen that you yeah this one here is my screen and this one here is Akos screen so we are we are doing the dual setup here so please Akos can you open the the project that they just created
it's called the impact beam, yeah. So when Arcos is now opening the, the Revit file from impact, uh, you can see there here that it's set central. Uh, this means that impact knows that the, that the, this uh, beam uh, impact beam 360 file is a central file. Um, so he he when he opens it now it will open a local copy, uh, which is good because that's um, yeah you don't need to to be that careful with opening it from Revit or from Project Manager because it will always open the local copy. So yeah, while uh, Arcos is starting his, his uh, Revit, uh, I will just describe what we're gonna do. So Arcos will do the, the right side here of this building, and I will do the left side, uh, just to show you yeah how it how it works basically. So uh, yeah, I will just do a head start a little bit to to uh, save some time. So um, I will start drawing some sandwich walls, which Arcos is doing as well. I will do this SW34 from my level one to level two. I will start on my finish face exterior and just draw them here. Like that. And uh, you can see that Arcos is doing the same with the same uh, definition from the same place. So, you know, we are, we are working uh, with the same information at all all time. So if we see here my 3D view, uh, I have my my elements, and uh, I want to split uh, them up uh, with these uh, grid lines. So I will use the split wall vertical command. I will select my two grid lines and hit finish. Now we'll use the 00, 0, 0, 0, straight end cap. We can see that Arcus is doing the same. He has uh, the opposite side of the element or the, the building. He's also splitting the walls. You see here it's uh, it's uh, divided. So I will just uh, do a synchronization uh, here that so that impact knows that uh, that we have some elements uh, basically, um, and also so that that uh, that we can get the my elements in Arcos model. So if uh, he do the synchronization as well, uh, he will get my model my elements. Uh, but I will just take my, my walls and uh, save them to the database. So the saving process uh, is you know, very critical because we don't want to do some uh, overriding. So when we save, um, we can just one user, impact user can just save to the database at the same time. So uh, if Arcos would have start saving at the same time as me, he will get the message that uh, you know I need to synchronize my model or something uh, before he can continue. Uh, so we we are using Revit warning systems for for this and uh, and uh, yeah to make sure that nothing is overwritten basically. So I will just save it here and I will just double check to synchronize uh, once. So when the synchronization is done, uh, you can try to save yours. Um, yeah, so can you try to save yours now, Arcos? Yeah, of and course. <clears throat> super. And at the same time, I will go to Product Manager and see if my walls are, are available. There they are. And here we can also see all my my uh, elements uh, because of us, uh, you know, when we start the saving uh, command, we are also synchronizing. So 
that before we save, we make sure that we have the, the latest uh, uh, Revit. And you can see here, while uh, saving, uh, Arcos will get you know the 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 first element market uh, number seven because I've already saved uh, six walls that were unique compared to his walls. So basically, he he won't overwrite my my walls. Uh, so that's that's great. So we have all the the impact functionalities uh, available um, in this com configuration of the the product as well. Um, so that's that's perfect. So now Arcus is saving his elements, and I will just do a reload latest to no, I will synchronize them. Get his uh, because. Yeah, maybe he didn't synchronize before. We'll see. Maybe you can also, yeah, while you have up the, can you synchronize your, your, um, yeah, of course. So I can get my, or get your elements basically. So yeah, we are not working with this synchronization and work sharing uh, daily, so we are a little bit of rookies, but uh, hopefully we will give you a good overview of how it works. So now I'm downloading his uh, uh, his walls here. This is pretty great. Um, so what do you say about uh, editing each other's uh, Elements, uh, so I will take one of yours and add uh, an opening. You can just do the same on one of mine. Okay. So uh, yeah, I will just take this wall here that Arcos uh, have created, and I will just draw my opening. And I yeah, I can just keep my lifting placement uh, like that. And at the same time, Arcos did the same. And uh, yeah, what about you saving your your uh, edit? So uh, uh -huh. we can start see. with the save. <laughs> it's uh... so of course we need to save to the database as well as uh, synchronize to get because now you can see that. Uh, the the wall that Arcos is working on is not, you know, updated in my um, my view here. So when I download the latest, yeah, he needs to synchronize first. But I will get the same uh, update as he will. Perfect. So maybe you can just show the the update in product manager while I'm uh, saving my wall. Yeah. So here we, we see his. Updating a project manager and you can see the full model. Perfect. Look at that. That's fantastic. And uh, in a couple of seconds, you should be able to update again and uh, yeah, so if you update it again, you should see my window as well. Yeah, there it is. So pretty good. And uh, yeah, we won't go into more details about the the yeah the the design part of impact now in this video because you can see the, that in in other videos and webinars that we have um, on our channel. But uh, this video was more about showing uh, how we can take. Uh, advantage of the BIM 360 uh, collaboration uh, and use it in impact with all these uh, uh, yeah good features that it uh, it makes uh, available uh, so yeah I think that uh, this is all uh, thank you very much for helping me Akos it was uh, a pleasure and I hope that you enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions or, or anything, just uh, contact us and we will be more than happy to, to answer your questions.